there, I'm Holographic Leah and today I'm going to be making my dream bedroom in Paint 3D and you're going to be making one right alongside me. So let's get started with the absolute basics. Let's open up Paint 3D. So if you go to the start bar on the bottom left of your desktop and open it up, you can scroll all the way down to P and there's Paint 3D or you can go down to the search bar in the bottom and search for Paint 3D. And let's open that up. And let's make a new project. So before we get started, I'm going to show you my Windows top tip. <laughs> so instead of having to switch back and forth between the window where you're watching this video and Paint 3D and keep switching back and forth, what you can do is in the window where you're watching this video, grab the top bar, click and hold it down and drag it all the way to the right edge of your screen until you see that see-through square and let it go. And then on the left side, you can select Paint 3D. And that means you can have both of the windows open next to each other at the same time. So you can watch me on one side and then work alongside me in the other. So for this project, I've made a really simple room base that you can start off with. And that link is just underneath this video. If you hit that, download it, and we can open that up in Paint 3D. So now you've downloaded my bedroom base. So let's go and bring that into Paint 3D. So I'm gonna to head to the menu. And if we go open and then browse files, And if you go to your downloads on the left, you'll find the 3D object that I made. So let's open that up and it'll place it in Paint 3D. There we go, there it is. This is a 3D object. So let's hit the 3D view button and view it in 3D. Now I'm gonna show you the basic controls of how to look around on Paint 3D. So I'm gonna switch cameras. <laughs> So to move when you're looking on the canvas, you use two fingers. So if you put your two fingers down, and you can move the whole view around. If you want to zoom in and out, you can use a pinch to zoom. And to rotate around your object, you use three fingers and drag them. So now we're a little bit more familiar on how to look around the 3D space, let's start decorating our bedroom. So as you can see, we've got the brushes tab open and on the right hand side, that opens up a new toolbar. And inside there, there are loads of different tools we can use for customizing the objects that we've got. So we've got paint brushes and pens and crayons, but we're gonna go down to the bottom right one, the little bucket and that'll fill in whole objects. And we're gonna use that to paint the walls and the floor of our room. So you can pick one of the colors down here, or you can be really picky like me and hit this one here and pick your own custom color. Now I want a nice blue, kind of a slightly minty, or maybe minty green. There we go. And now we've got that color selected. All we have to do is just hit the object and it will take on the color. Ta-da! So now my room's the color I want it to be. Let's add some objects like a bed. So Paint 3D has an amazing 3D library. So if we hit the 3D library tab at the top, you can go through and browse all of these different objects that you might want to add to your scene. So if we go into animals, for instance, inside there are a load of different animals that I could add. But I think for now, we're just going to start out with a bed. So if we hit the search bar at the top, we can type in whatever we want. So type in bed and I've got a load of different beds to choose from 
I'm going to choose this basic one right here. And it's going to load it in. And it's a bit big. Uh, it's the size of my room. <laughs> you can see your object has this little square around it. And in the corners of that square and on the sides are these little squares that are called handles. If you pick the top right handle and drag it down, it'll get smaller. And if you drag it up, it'll get bigger. <laughs> so let's drag it down to, I think, about the right size for my bed. <laughs> and I'm going to use my two fingers and I'm just going to move our view. Now, it's not actually sitting in our room at the moment. So what you want to do is hit the icon with the sort of the back fourth arrow and press that and it'll let you change the Z position. So that's how far forward or backwards it is. And I want to put it kind of against the wall. So I'm going to drag it back there. And it still needs to go in a bit. So I'm going to use my three fingers and drag them around. And you can see that our square moved. And that means when I hit that back fourth arrow again, it'll let me change it on this axis. And I can move it in. Uh, there. Awesome. So when you're coming up with ideas for your dream bedroom, if you're a bit stuck, you could always think about using a theme like space, for example. You could add some rockets and some stars or an underwater theme where you could add some fish or maybe your bed is a boat. <laughs> the theme for my room is pretty simple. I love colourful things, so I'm just going to make it all of the colours of the rainbow. But the bed I've added looks kind of boring and white. <laughs> So I'm going to use the same thing that we used earlier to color our walls. I'm going to grab our fill bucket back in the brushes panel. And this time I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to get a nice pink. There we go. I'm going to tap on the bed and there we go. A pink bed. I want to add some decoration to my bed. So it's not quite so plain pink. So I'm going to select the marker pen and that'll allow us to draw on any of the 3D objects that we add. So I'm going to make it a little bit thicker and I'm going to choose yellow. And I'm just going to hit some spots on the bed. So I have a nice pink and yellow polka dot bed. Looks beautiful. <laughs> so I was thinking, Maybe instead of just getting out of bed like a regular person, what if I could have a slide so I could slide straight out of bed? And we could do that. We could do it so easily. All you've got to do is go back into our 3D library. And this time in the search bar, I'm going to type in slide. And I'm going to grab this slide right here. A nice blank one so that I can change the color of it. Okay, so this slide is looking great, but it's facing the wrong way. So at the bottom of our square that's surrounding this object, I'm going to grab that little turny arrow thing and I'm going to drag it along until it hits 180 degrees. And there we go. And I'm going to use the Z axis arrow again to move it back so it's at the same position as the bed. I'm going to rotate with three fingers. And I'm going to use that same arrow to move it forward. So the only thing now is that my slide is kind of, I'd have to climb up the slide. I'm going to move my bed up so that I can slide straight down. So I'm going to select my bed and I'm just going to drag it up. So let's put it here. So it's right at the end. <laughs> let's just not talk about how my bed is somehow suspended in air. Because this is my dream. It doesn't matter, right? I'm thinking my room is looking a little bit too small already. So what I can do is select the room. 
and grab one of the handles on the side to change the width of it and just drag that out. I also want to make it a little bit taller. So if I grab the one up here and drag it up. Awesome. I think I'm also going to need a bit more floor space. So let's select it again and drag this one here. There we go. So much space. I've never had a bedroom this big. So I'm gonna go back to the brushes and let's fill in the color of the slide. Let's make it match the bed. And I'm gonna add some polka dots to that too. So it all matches. Looks super legit now. Now, this is a really good time for you to save your project. Always, always save what you're working on. So to save your Paint 3D project, go into the menu and hit Save As. And we're going to save it in a Paint 3D project. So let's hit that. And I'm going to name it My Dream Bedroom. I'm going to save it in Paint 3D so I can come back to it later. I'm going to make this feel a little bit more homely and I'm going to add a rug. So let's go back into the Paint 3D library. I'm going to search for a rug. I'm going to pop this one in. A nice blank one so I can put my own design on it. And I'm just going to move this into place. So I'm going to pop it on the floor. I'm going to use the Z-axis. And move it just a bit more in the center. There we go. This time, instead of using a paint bucket to fill in the color, we're going to use a sticker. So if we go into the stickers tab, and if we sit, hit the little smiley face, I'm looking for a really colorful room. So I'm going to tap on the rainbow. And now if I drag my finger on the screen, it'll make a rainbow stamp. And I'm just going to get it right so I can move it around. And just like with any image, you can drag the handles to make it bigger. Yeah, perfect. And when you're happy with your stamp, you just hit the little stamp button on the left. So for my dream bedroom, I'm thinking that I'd like a space for me and my friends to sort of hang out and eat pizza and play games and stuff. So I kind of want a little table on the floor and maybe some chairs to sit around. So I'm going to open up the 3D library, but instead of searching for a table, I'm thinking my table might be a bit more fun and colourful. So I'm going to search for a watermelon. And I'm going to grab this slackened watermelon slice. I'm going to make it a bit smaller by dragging one of the handles on the corner. Let's drag that down. And I'm going to use the right sort of curly arrow so that it sits flat on the floor. Let's get it to 90 degrees. There we go. And let's drag it along. So it's just going to be sat on the floor. And I'm going to use my three fingers to move around. So <laughs> my slide's kind of sat in it right now. So I'm going to just drag that along so that it's in the middle of my rug. There we go. So now I'm going to add some chairs. But why would I add a regular chair? This is my dream bedroom. I'm going to add a rubber duck chair. I'm going to scale it down and I'm going to drag it in. And I'm just going to move that slightly down.
There we go. Okay. So we've got one. <laughs> and I'm going to do my usual thing where I go into the brushes. And I'm going to grab a fill can. And of course, I'm going to make it yellow. Now, I want there to be a few more chairs, so it's not just me. So I'm going to go and hit select and then press on my duck. Now on the right, you can see lots of different options when you select a 3D object. What I'm going to do is press on this one here, the copy. So I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to press the one next to it to paste it. And that'll make a second one. So I'm going to pick up the second duck and drag him out. I'm going to pop him over here. And then I'm going to use the rotate at the bottom so that he's facing towards the table. And I'm going to do that again. So copy and paste. I'm going to grab the Z axis and move him along. There we go. So my walls are looking a little bit bare at the moment and I'd love to add some art. And as a Cano World user, what better art to use than stuff that I've made on Make Art? So I'm going to go into my favourite web browser. I'm going to go to world.cano.me. And then I'll go over to my profile. I'm going to go to my make art creations. And uh, let's have a little scroll. I think I'd like to use my sparkly rainbow. So I'm going to open up my creation. And I'm going to right click and save image as. So it doesn't have to be a make art creation. It can be any image you like. So I'm going to save image as. And I'm going to save it as my rainbow. And make sure you remember where you've saved it. I'm just putting it in my downloads folder. I'm going to press save. There we go. And that's saved. So I'm going to go back into Paint 3D. And I'm going to go to stickers. And if you see the little folder icon in there, if you hit that, and you can add your own custom sticker. So I'm in my downloads folder where I saved my rainbow and I'm gonna open that. So now you can see my make art creation has been added into my project. So I'm just gonna pick it up and drag it over to the wall and I'm gonna press the tick. Perfect. So I'm going to add a frame for it because it's looking a bit lonely on there. I'm going to search for a frame and I should probably say that it's square. But that one looks good. I'm going to rotate it so it's facing the right way. Scale it down. I'm going to move it so it's sat on the wall. Let's move it up. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to give it a nice fill. And now I'm just going to have a little bit of fun and add whatever comes into my mind.
home. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to make sure that I save my project. So I'm going to hit the save button. Uh, it's going to take a while because there are a lot of objects in there, but be patient. So now that you've finished making your dream room, there's a few little extra bits and pieces we can do to make it look super cool and ready to share with the world. So if we go into the effects tab, if you hit one of these buttons here, it'll put a different kind of lighting on your scene. And if you move the little sun, it'll change where the light is coming from. So I quite like the orange one and I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go back into the menu now. And this time I'm going to hit save as. And I want to show my friends this amazing dream bedroom that I've made. So I'm going to hit video. And in here, you can make a little animated video of your dream bedroom. And there are lots of little settings in here that you can change, like the way that you, the animation plays. So if I hit swing, it'll change how it animates. And there's all sorts of fun little animations in here. <laughs> so I'm going to hit swing. And if I hit the adjust angle and framing, I can change how it looks. So it's just the same way that you'd move around your creation if you were editing it. And I'm going to get this perfect. And then I hit OK. And I think that would be a really cool thing to share. So I'm going to pr press save. And I'm going to save it to my videos as my bedroom. So this saving is going to take a little while. That's because it's going through the model and taking lots of photos of it to make it into one video. And there it is, my dream bedroom. I hope you enjoyed watching and you got to make the bedroom of your dreams.